Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to the mayor and commission meeting for the great city of Douglas this February the 12th, 2018. And next on the agenda will be our invocation. That is going to be brought to us by our mayor pro temp, Mr. Contaywan Carter Dern. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Our invocation will be by our greatly owned, the chief apostle, the priest, the bishop, the minister, the lay member, our assistant manager, Mr. Charlie Davis <laughs> of West Gorge. He lost He's working up a lightning bolt in here all day. <laughs> Yeah, hey, begin. If the prayer is good, I don't know who to give credit to. If it's bad, I do sit up under the pastoral ship of Britt Peavy of West War Street Church. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, y'all blame him for it, you know. But uh, that is how my life works to go to prayer. Dear Lord, as we gather here tonight, dear Lord, we ask that your goodness and love be present tonight amongst us, dear Lord. Come bless our meeting, Lord, with unity and hope and vision. And Lord, we say that you build a deep respect amongst one another in this room so that your will might be done and that for the greatness of the city of Douglas and Coffee County, dear Lord, we ask for all these things, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, dear Lord, amen. 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 Thank you, dear Lord. Next Thank on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. And as always, we're going to be led by the dynamic Coffee County Navy Junior ROTC and also the new commander, Commander McKean. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Outstanding, you may be seated. <laughs> Next on the agenda, we have the minutes, but we've taken care of that in the work session. So, if you would, if you would strike that for me. Also, we did not have any items to bring forward. It's already on the agenda about the conflict of interest. Correct. Sir. Correct? Yes. So if you would, go down to item number eight and strike that. Uh, next on the agenda will be the approval of the order of the agenda. So move. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next on the agenda will be to disclose the CDBG 2018 potential conflict of interest concerning Commissioner Cindy McNeil and Community Developer uh, Director Ms. Dale Bat. City Manager, Mr. Jakes, how are you doing this evening? Thank you, Mayor. Doing well. Uh, as stated in the work session in relationship to uh, the recommendation and no action is necessary on this item, but it is necessary to disclose potential conflict of interest that Commissioner Cindy McNeil's mother, Ruby Davis, Daniel, excuse me, and Community Development Director Dale Batten's sister, Maldine Wright, own property in the 2018 CDBG target area. Also going forward, Commissioner McNeil and Community Development Director Dale Batten will not take part in any further deliberation or decision of the City of Douglas Board of Commission with respect to the project affecting these residents. No action is needed with this for the disclosure. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. <coughs> Next on the agenda are, is the consent agenda items. As always, the city manager, Mr. Jacobs, will read those off before I entertain a motion. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. First item is the minutes for January 30th, 2018. Next item is alcohol beverage application for Fred's Store of Tennessee. The next item is the date changes of the upcoming meetings as stated in the work session. And I'll give you those. The first one will be changed to May the 31st from May the 28th. Uh, second one will be changed from June the 25th to uh, June the 28th. The next one will be changed from July the 9th to July the 12th. And the last one would be changed from December the 24th to December the 27th. 
those are all the date changes of the upcoming meetings. And the last item is the staggered terms for elected officials in relationship to the upcoming election in regards to local legislation being presented this session. Hopefully. Those are all the items we have for the consent agenda. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. The items placed on the consent agenda has been read. At this time, I entertain a motion. Motion to, excuse me, second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next on the agenda, we have the staff comments. And as always, that's Ms. George Henderson, Public Information. How are you doing? Doing well. You all? Doing well. Good evening. Just a few announcements. Um, just want to announce to the public watching that um, if it gets on in time by Thursday, that the dedication of our Camellia Garden at the Ashley Slater House is this Thursday, February 16th at um, 2 p.m. Um, and as we dedicate this, there's going to be a part of the uh, program where a bench will be dedicated by the um, class of 1978, I'm sorry, 1988 to uh, Mr. Uh, Clayton Mathis and his family. Also, um, this is uh, significant for us as our garden will be listed on the Georgia Camellia Trail. So that's this Thursday at 2 p.m. I want to also announce that the uh, Douglas Coffee County Parks and Recreation Department will be hosting the GRPA District 2 basketball tournaments starting on Thursday, February 22nd through Saturday, February 24th. These tournaments will be held at Central Square Complex and also the George um, Washington Carver Gymnasium and it is for uh, ages 7 through 17 for the boys and girls. These teams will be competing with seven counties. Um, and we ask that you come out and support them during this tournament. Also, one other announcement coming up March the 10th before our next city uh, commission meeting, the Wildgrass Artist Guild along with the Douglas Parks and Recreation Department will host a Children's Arts Festival on March the 10th from 9 until 3 p.m. and that will be held at Central Square Complex. Those are announcements that I have. Thank you. Outstanding. Thank you. Next we will have commission uh, comments from the mayor and commission. Let's start out with our dynamic uh, mayor pro tem. What? What? I heard that. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good um, evening. It's just a blessing to be here. Um, thank you all for your prayers. And um, I tell you, the flu season is pretty rough, you know. And um, But thank God for your prayers and everything. Thank God for seeing another year. Um, I celebrated a birthday on on Friday. Oh yes, and I really enjoyed. I thank the city of Douglas, you know, and um, thank everyone and all the citizens of Ward too. Um, I've been getting a lot of calls um, about our utility bills and stuff like that, and I seen some stuff on Facebook, but um, I also come in and on there and told them to give us a call. You know, so we can explain to them and see which way we can help. Um, as um, liaison over over the customer care, um, you know, I try to make myself, you know, mutual and try to be there for the citizens to, you know, to address their concerns. And so far, it's been really great. All it takes is just a little comment and to say, you know, call us or call me. And today uh, we had three about three citizens that came in, so that just tell you they're listening, and that's a blessing. And um, also, if you have any problems, anything, and um, also I got got to say this: please have your trash in the right location to where they can pick it up. I mean, don't have it in your yard. Put it where you know trans waste can get to it and turn it the right way and everything so because I've been getting a lot of calls on that too but we as citizens I'm a citizen too when it comes to that we have to have our trash out and ready for them to pick it up on our trash day but that's all I have outstanding thank right. you <laughs> Commissioner Gow <laughs> good evening um, one thing that we had going on uh, not this weekend, but the prior weekend, we had the opportunity to do our uh, annual retreat as a commission and uh, also meet with our staff regarding 
goal setting for the city of Douglas. This is the uh, third year that I've been a participant in that process. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's facilitated by the Carl Vincent Institute of Government at the University of Georgia. Uh, Mr. Eric Robinson has been the representative that's, that's handled our retreats for the past three years now, and he's done an outstanding job. We're able to uh, spend some time together to review our overall goals and what we'd like to see our city to become in the next three years. And as many people know, we've got several important projects that we're working on. Primarily the physical projects is where we're at at this point. And as always, we welcome community input. Uh, I can say I was excited by some of the things that, that were shared with us, uh, particularly from the Downtown Development Authority, um, concerning the development of the uh, the building that was torn down in that property. So we got some good prospects there. We received an update on the uh, possible develop or the the ongoing development of the old school uh, high school property, which looks good as well. But we appreciate all the staff that came in as, to work with us as well to set goals and looking forward to implementing those goals like we have been doing for the last uh, two years. <laughs> Many people may know, uh, in addition to success on the football field, we're having great success on the hardwood floor, yes. on the courts. Uh, our Coffee County uh, varsity boys basketball team won the oh, region yeah. title, our first region title since 2008. Completed a perfect season, 10-0 in the region. Uh, beat Lee County twice. So they might got us on the football field. They didn't get us on the hardwood. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so... This Friday night, we'll be playing. Well, do, do we find is it, is it Bradwell or Effingham? Does anyone know? Effingham. Effingham. We got them Friday night here in Coffee County. So please come out and show your support for our young men. Uh, oh, yeah. Our girls finished number two in the region. I've not heard yet what their schedule will be, but they did very well as, as well. They came up short. We beat Valdosta for the region title. I think, was it 27 points? Yeah, 76 to 49. So, congratulations to our um, to the varsity boys basketball team and the our Lady Trojans girls basketball team for their good work and encourage everyone to get out there and support our Trojans. Outstanding, Commissioner McNeil. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, Mayor. Um, I just want to say, um, in uh, honor <coughs> of Valentine's Day, in honor of uh, this month, February. Uh, a way a great way to honor your loved ones is to give blood and I think we all need to um, we need to get on board with this if we possibly can I see on the um, on the website that you you get a free t-shirt and a free ten dollar e-gift card for giving blood and um, there are a lot of donation sites um, beginning February 9th through February 14th so again it's a great way to remember somebody and to um, you know, I, I've done it every year just in, my daddy always did it, so it's meant a lot, and I've passed that down to my son now that, you know, if you're where you can, go give blood. We, I used to do it, you know, when I worked with the city here, and y'all would have the drive. Um, I feel that that's important. But I want to say, too, we did have a great retreat and uh, good team building. I think it was um, a good time together, and i um, glad to know that um, Commissioner Moore is doing better and um, thankful for his um, recovery. And um, he's mighty tough, I think. We're very, very pleased to have you back in good health. And um, I think that's about it. That's about it, Mayor. Oh, oh the Camellia. Um, the Camellia event, Thursday at 2 p.m. Love to have everybody we can come to Heritage, I mean, to the uh, Ashley Slater House. That would be wonderful. And then the other thing, I want to commend Georgia and her staff on um, promoting Douglas as a site for the Georgia Department of Economic Development Tourism Product Development Resource Team who's agreed to come here. We've been trying, I think you said, for about three years to get this group to come to Douglas. And these are people who are promoting uh, the film industry. They're promoting all kinds of things um, in the state of Georgia. I had the opportunity to have lunch the other day with the Magnolia Midlands group, and they do a great job, too, of promoting our portion of the state um, to others so um, you know teamwork makes it happen and we're looking forward to having them Georgia thank you teamwork makes the dream work. outstanding <coughs> uh, 
Commissioner Taylor. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right, all right. Um, what I just want to talk about, uh, you know, here late for the last couple of weeks, we've been getting a lot of rain. Yes, Lord. And um, our ditches and things have been filling up with water, <sighs> and water has not been quite running off like it should be. And uh, I have been talking to some of my uh, uh, peoples in Ward 1 that they brought it to my attention. So um, give us a little bit of check time. We're working on that. I've got with uh, Kevin uh, about the ditches and things, talked with Mr. Jacob on this morning uh, about some of the things that we need to do. And we are working on that. So. Um, uh, um, just give us a little time because it's a little wet now, but uh, we will be working on clearing those ditches and things out. Also, um, I got a couple of phone calls on about cars that are sitting in the yard and they've been tickets rolled on them, um, saying to the citizen, the law is the law. And um, the people that assigned to do that they're just doing their job it's not nothing new it's already been in play so they're just doing their job so uh, if you have an abandoned car that you're not you know operating and all please find something to do with it because um, Roger and his staff will be out making sure that these cars are not just sitting in yard doing nothing because a lot of them are used for storage and other things and we won't go into that part but please ma'am please sir if you got any cars that's on your property that you're not using sell them up whatever so uh let's make sure we follow the law thank you very much outstanding mr bob moore 35 good to have you with us thank you glad to be here your comments uh you got a call this week, the kind that you like to receive. This uh, <laughs> resident, she's been before this commission before. She's a very smart lady, and she called. She just wanted to thank the people for the work for the city for doing their job and cleaning up like it had been in the, say in the past. She said she went out to her house. Out to people working to thank them for it. They said that they didn't live here. They were working for the State Department, the ESG people. I think they're from Hineville. But she thanked them for the job they were doing. And they have, believe it or not, been doing some good work. And uh, I'm glad to see you because we got a lot of things. And I want to commend Roger and his group for helping get rid of some of these junk cars and trucks and whatever. <laughs> And like uh, Mr. Taylor said, it's the law. If you don't abide by it, it's going to cost you. So uh, just abide by it, put your trash cans out like you're supposed to, and put them up like you're supposed to. And uh, just try to be as as conservative as you are because it's been cold weather. We had not had any cold weather the last few years. We have this year. And uh, so try to conserve your energy so your bills don't be so high. And uh, thank you for what the people that work do and uh, just continue to do it. And be careful, lock your doors, keep yourself put up because there are people that can, uh, go, in, go in the house and, Going the wrong house, they're going to let the undertaker come get me. Mm -hmm. that bother? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they on the outside, shoot them, drag them in. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> <laughs> he never left. <laughs> <laughs> he never left. <laughs> 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 Commissioner Pierce. Spoken like an undertaker. He never left. <laughs>
team for that region win. Um, many, many moons ago, I had an opportunity to, uh, <laughs> while playing basketball in, at Clark College in Atlanta, to be on a team in 1982 where we were the SIAC champions. So I know All what right. the feeling is like. So I commend uh, the guys for that. No, I, I played. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yo. Oh, oh, no, 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 Mayor Pro Tim Durham, you might know, but uh, the rest of the information that I don't have, but Miss Irene Murray told me the MLK committee will be having the march on mm -hmm. next Monday, February 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you know what time that's going to start? It's supposed to start at 10. 10 that morning? Mm -hmm. Okay. The 19th. The 19th because the kids will be out of school that day for President's Day. So I wanted to announce that. Yes, Mr. Perry. Mm -hmm. Um. The other thing is, I like to say the Coffee County NAACP are uh, having their annual Freedom Farm Banquet on Saturday, April the 28th at Central Square Gym at 7 p.m. The keynote speaker for this event is State Representative Al Williams. Those of you who attended uh, former Commissioner Johnny Roper's uh, funeral, State Representative Al Williams uh, was present at that event and he presented uh, Mr. Roper's family with a resolution and he gave a few words which were very dynamic. So we want everybody to please try to make sure you purchase your NAACP ticket. You can contact myself or you can contact Mr. Hal Presley uh, or any active members of the NAACP. I'm sure Mr. Perry's going to have some tickets as well. Um, oh, last thing. Let me see. I wasn't very long. Last thing that I have to say is when I remove my glasses, y'all know probably have noticed by now, I usually get real serious when I take my glasses. Oh, yes. Uh -oh, so I just want to announce that a lot of citizens have came to me saying to me that they did not realize that I was still facing a retrial. Well, yes, I am. And I guess y'all might have seen it in the paper this past week. I was told it was in there. But uh, our honorable uh, district attorney and our honorable uh, Judge Spivey, that's uh, DA, Sansad and Judge Spivey um, want to retry the case, and it will be being retried in Jessup, Georgia, February the 22nd. So uh, those of you who are my real supporters, I solicit your support, and, of, and those of you who are righteous, I solicit the prayers of the righteous, because the prayers of the righteous avail much. much. Thank you, Mr. Prayer. Mayor. Outstanding. Um, the uh, my comments are as follows: Is uh, you know February is Black History Month, and we always talk about the the Dr. Martin Kings and the Harriet Tubbins and individuals of that nature. Not to take away, what I'm looking for is some youth that has made history in the city of Douglas. Some black youth that I would like to be able to recognize that have made some uh, some contribution or achievements in the city of Douglas and Coffee County. So if you know of any, give me a call. It's 912-383-2182. That's my personal cell phone, 912-383-2182. I answer all calls, but the answers are not selective. But next, Mayor, <laughs> uh, so would that be uh, athletics, educational, mm -hmm. uh, church? I just want to be able to recognize you because I think that our youth are are contributing to our society, and I want to be able to recognize them. Okay. Next, I would like to thank Mr. Jakes and his staff, as always. Uh, really makes uh, life a lot easier for the Magnificent Seven up here. Uh, and I'm grateful.
for Mr. Japes and his staff, uh, making our lives easier. We may not always return the favor and make your lives easier, but we appreciate <laughs> it and we're grateful. Next, uh, Commissioner, Mc Commissioner McNeil uh, hit on the blood drive. Uh, one of the things I've spent the majority of my life in a leadership role, and one of the things that when I got promoted to sergeant back in December 1983, I called my father and I asked him for some advice. He said, as a leader, never ask a man to do something that you know that you won't do or will not do. The blood drive, I think, is very important. Uh, we need blood through not only here locally, but throughout the region. There's always a blood shortage. Uh, however, being in the military, I'm one of those individuals that cannot give blood during a blood drive. Uh, I was just stationed in some different countries that does not permit me to do that. But I will encourage you to do that. Uh, donating blood saves lives every day. Save my every day. So I appreciate the citizens of Douglas and Coffee County supporting. Next, uh, our b-ball team have a, a Trojan loyal fan here, uh, Mr. Perry. He's always down there at this end of the court, sitting about the third row up. So uh, I won't be there uh, <laughs> Friday because uh, it's Valentine's and we're going down to Jacksonville to listen to a little R&B. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, my wife think that's going to be my Valentine's present, but uh, uh, I, got, I got some Jose things coming to the house. You don't get me nothing, I will buy my own. Well, thank the Lord. I will buy my own. Uh, Johnny, if you're ever free to edit that part. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the things I want to talk about here uh, on a serious note, you know, uh, we want our city to be beautiful. We want our city to be clean. We want when individuals come here, to recognize that we have a beautiful city. Well, since I've been sitting here, we often have junk drop off. Mm -hmm. And that helps get a lot of uh, debris out of yards. Well, we brought in the uh, code enforcement. We have a marshal, have a staff, animal control, all these things here to try to bring into line uh, the homes, the businesses, uh, uh, vacant property, properties that were on fire and nobody's done anything with them. So we're going to have some growing pains. I expect our calls to increase <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, because I do think that we need to get rid of the uh, cars that are in the yard that have been there for an extended period of time. I do think that we have opportunities to assist the citizens with this. Uh, I talked to a uh, code enforcement marshal. He said, hey, look, give me a call. We can extend it a little bit. We don't want to cause a, a, a financial burden on anybody. But if it's on the right of way, we need to move a little quicker because that could be a public safety issue. But uh, Mr. Garter said, give him a call. Uh, he'll be more happy to extend and maybe see if we can assist uh, getting you some help maybe to get somebody to move it for you. Uh, hey, let me ask you this right here. All those tow truck drivers, can't, uh, how come we can't have a, an, uh, a car removal for free and they move them out the way? Amen. Well, uh, I don't know. If Run that up the flagpole. We'll have to look at that. I'm just saying we have junk drop off to help the citizens. That'll be good. And that has been a successful program. Right or wrong? Right. I mean, hey, the tow truck drivers may have the cycle people. They'll come yeah. pick up a car. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying pay there, for there may be some Show opportunities yeah. that when, when we go right. talk to somebody about their old car, say, hey, look, these guys here buy cars. It's not from, I don't know if we should do that. No, that, no don't do that. I'm thinking liability right there. No, 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 no. We can give them a list of people Scratch in the community that. and they call themselves. Scratch that. And those tow truck drivers got uh -uh. the as well. Scratch that. They're not going to do it. Too. So, uh, my last thought is this right here. <laughs> One of the things we must always be mindful of is to be grateful for today. Mm-hmm. 
be grateful for today. I was telling somebody during, uh, before the work session started, I normally have about five bad days. I normally have five bad days a year. I only allow myself to have five bad days a year, period, period. But today when I was having a bad day, I remember something from our retreat. Be the reason somebody smiles. Be the reason. That sounds familiar, Mayor. There you go. And I was about to give <laughs> Mr. My, McNeil credit you, for sir. that. So I was getting berated on the phone uh, today. And regardless of what that individual said, I tried to do everything I could yeah, to yeah. make that person smile. And at the end of the day, I was able to get them a check. So they was, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that normally brings a smile. Yeah. So with that being said, it's Valentine's Day weekend. Fellas, get you some brownie points. Get you some brownie points. Go big or go home. <laughs> At this time, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. It's been motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. All opposed? Motion carries. We stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.